everyone. We're here in El Bosque de Chapultepec. It's the largest park in Ciudad de Mexico. So imagine like the central park of Mexico City. It's, and it's in like that. In fact, it's twice the size by area of Central Park. So it's a gigantic park. There's two sections, la primera sección, la segunda sección. The second one is more like just walk around and to ride bikes. The first one has a bunch of museums, including El Museo de Antropología, El Castillo de Chapultepec, and maybe a couple more. There's also a zoo. It's gigantic. There's lots to do. One other cool thing you can see behind us, they're getting ready for Dia de los Muertos, which uh -huh. is gonna be this Friday starts. But the days leading up to it, every night at six o'clock, they've got these walks through the park where there's gonna be music and people dressed up, mini celebrations before the actual event. And we're gonna be doing that before we leave, so stay tuned for that, it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right guys, right now we are heading up El Castillo de Chapultepec. It's a little bit of an uphill climb, but you are kind of like on top of the whole city, so it's got a really beautiful view. While the castle itself is worth stopping by just to see the facility's historical artifacts and elegant architecture, my favorite feature was the bird's eye view of the city. I mean, come on, look at this, just gorgeous. So we just finished up with the castle and it was definitely a lot of fun. It's kind of like seeing the Mexican version of like the Palace of Versailles. It's also a historical museum. It kind of talks about a lot of the different empires that have kind of come in and out of Mexico throughout different periods of time. One tip I would definitely recommend is check your bags. It only costs 10 pesos to check your bags. You can fit about two backpacks in there and that's only about 50 cents. So unless you want to lug around a backpack all day, definitely recommend that. So right now we are making fools of ourselves out on a body of water. We're trying not to hit trees and ducks and other wildlife. But it is really, really beautiful. It's just really hard to steer this pedal boat they gave us. But sorry guys, it's not the personal, we don't know how to drive. I'm really sorry. What's up bro? This thing literally makes no sense at all. Like, I understand that the directions are like opposite, so when you pull right, you go left, and when you pull left, yeah. you go right. It's a rudder. But it, it's like these massive swings back and forth, regardless of if we, like, don't push it that hard. I don't know, maybe I just suck at this. I am the captain now, and I don't know how to drive. So we were out there for, I'd say, all of maybe 15 minutes, and we are just sweating. Our recommendation is, if you are going to go on a boat, get the rowboat. It's like 40 more pesos. I'm just so impressed with how beautiful this park is. Like, Mexico City in a lot of places can be really like bustling and busy, but this is just so peaceful. There's so many places to come here just take a nap. It's lovely. There's a lake, so many museums. It's like, 
Just a great refuge away from the city. Now, me and Brandon are gonna try to find the jump bikes. It's actually, if you have an Uber app, you can do it through the Uber. We're gonna rent a bike and uh, do some exploring in the other section of the park. We downloaded the jump app. We've got this button on the bottom that lets you scan the QR code. And unlock the bike. What do you think? It's like for every one pedal, it gives you like five. Yeah. It's really it's nice. Great. Yeah. And now it's raining. I don't think it's gonna pour. I think it's gonna be on and off. Unfortunately, the rain persisted and we only had one bike to share amongst me and Brandon. So he ended up going home while I explored the other side of the park. El Segundo Parte was a really awesome place to ride your bike. There's lots of paths to both walk and to ride around. You'll pass a number of museums and even playgrounds scattered around this public space. And while strolling around the park, I actually stumbled upon a skate park and ended up hanging out with some pretty cool skaters. We ended up talking a little bit and bonding over Tony Hawk Pro Skater, and then they showed me some of their sick skater moves. So leading up to Day of the Dead, they have a lot of events. <laughs> and uh, actually right now, I'm in a quickly moving line to get into an event called Celebrando la Eternidad, or Celebrate the Eternity. If you do want to come check this out, I recommend getting here at least 15 to 20 minutes in advance because this line is pretty crazy. I just walked in and the party has begun. When you first get in through the main entrance, they have tons of people dressed up, some really cool costumes. You can take pictures with whoever you like. So having explored this park before, I am so impressed with how they've totally transformed it. It's all lit up and they kind of have these little stations set up every, I would say, quarter of a mile or so. They'll have like a really cool artistic thing set up and then they'll have like a mariachi band or all sorts of really cool music. Apparently this is the first year that they've done it. It's really cool. So I think I reached the last event and I think we're heading to the exit. They had this really touching thing at the end for those who have passed away. You could send a picture, they had the station set up. You could have your lost loved one be projected on this big screen right on the pond. Very powerful. Just, whew. Great event, great event. Can't speak highly enough of it. So I just got back outside and wow, that was an awesome event. 
it was totally free to attend. I mean, there was a crazy line, so like I said, she got here 20 minutes in advance, but they had art, they had music, and the last station I think was super powerful. This is actually the first year I've ever missed a Halloween, and I'm a little bit sad about that, but this was a great way to spend the day as well, so yeah. I was talking to a local before and he was saying that I'm in Mexico City for really the best time of the year and I really couldn't agree more. This has been just an awesome experience. Well guys, that's it for now. If you have a friend you want to explore Mexico City with, make sure to share this video with them. If you enjoyed this travel flick, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps with YouTube's algorithm. Plus, smash the bell to get notifications when I launch new videos. As always, I'm Robbie Frank. Thanks for watching. Safe travels, and I'll catch you next time.